Frankenstein. The werewolf. The hunchback. The mummy. The invisible man. Also starring Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> As her, as herself, I know. <laughs> as a <Speaking> monster. Monsters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably I will probably be made fun of for my opinion on something, but I'll oh. go through with it anyway. Uh, so some stuff came out. You know, they had a bunch of movie news that came out. First of all, everybody talking about uh, uh, Robbie Mar- Margot Roby. Mm-hmm. Margot Robbie, uh, she's back as Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. Yeah, they, I've been seeing pictures. For the yeah, last they're few going days. through that uh, Birds of Prey right. uh, film that they have, and everybody's making a big deal about big deal about this picture. Well, you know, one of the things I got I got a problem with is when everybody talking about big reveal. Oh, take a look, first look, first big look at this, and I'm like, she looked like Harley Quinn from the last movies. Yeah. In fact, the chief looks more ridiculous right now. She looks like a goddamn six year old that broke into her mother's uh, wardrobe in a, a cosmetic drawer. Yeah. You know, it's like it's the same shit. Like, I, well, she kind of looks like Cindy Lauper. Yeah, like she she raided her house. It was always funny because you 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 took Harley Quinn and bedazzled her uh-huh. even more. I'm like it ain't it ain't nothing. Look like she fell into the fucking uh, the 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 party <laughs> shelf at Chuck E. Cheese, you know, <laughs> or the prize shelf at Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese, you know. <laughs> 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 like Robin kicked her into it. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, somebody. Up, she's wearing all, what the? Like the Joker knocked the ass up to the prize <laughs> shelf at Chuck E. Cheese. She came back up wearing all this shit. I said, I think I seen a racer in there somewhere, but <laughs> <laughs> and a ruler. But um, but hey, at least it's a little bit more than uh than what you saw with this other big reveal. They talking about uh, Bad Boys is coming back. Yeah, and Big Willie put out that big reveal. Oh, uh, look at uh, uh, we got we got a first glimpse. At me and uh, Martin, uh, Martin, what's his name? Lawrence. You want to say Martin Thomas? <laughs> Martin Lawrence. Martin <laughs> Two Lawrence. First names. Yeah, exactly. Martin Lawrence and Bad Boys. Uh, was it three now that they are? Is it or is it four? It might be four. I think it's three. I think it's three. Okay, but they put it out there, and I'm like, all right, y'all just look like the same guys with more weight. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> now we mad and old. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all just look grumpy now. <laughs> that should be called, yeah. I mean, Will Smith looks like he's mad about nothing. Yeah. And Martin Lawrence looks grumpy. Like he didn't, he really didn't want to wake up and be there. <laughs> like Will Smith like he had a little bit too much prune juice in there. Listen to me, kids. Read your contracts first. Yeah. <laughs> Because I did not want to be here doing this shit. Shit. <laughs> bad boys. No, y'all bad man now. <laughs> right. Bad old man. You're too old yeah, to be yeah, acting yeah. like that. <laughs> bad grumpy man. <laughs> that's, that's funny. How old are y'all? You haven't made chief yet? <laughs> no promotion. Well, you know how hard it is for a brother to get up <laughs> right. in his organization. I'm just messing around, man. I do. I, 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 uh, I'm looking forward to it. I actually like bad boys, man. You I know think what? I've not seen either of those movies. Uh, first one is pretty cool. Second one I like. It's not good. It's ridiculous. The moment that they showed like them going through a uh, like a old uh, a old house, old demolished house, and there were two rats in there fucking, and they put the camera. On. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, you made my night. <laughs> <laughs> man, for no reason, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> were they real rats? Yeah, they were real rats going at it, man. It's almost like they just saw two rats fucking for real, and then Michael Bates like, "Hey, bring the camera over here, man. <laughs> we gotta get this." Yeah, it's like they show rat porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying, man. It's like they gave one of the rats Viagra <laughs> and paid another rat hole, <laughs> and they just went, oh, <laughs> they just God. went at it, man. <laughs> Man, you left it. <laughs> I did not expect that, but that made my night. Man. You got me cracking up over there. But I want to watch. I want to watch that with you now. I want to wait for that rat scene. <laughs> Shit, I actually want to buy rat porn for you now. <laughs> but it's just so random. <laughs> it is. They just going through a house, and Martin Lawrence like, man, what, the, what is this? It's just two rats fucking, man, for no reason. <laughs> but here's the thing that I want to talk about: the real news that happened today. Uh, or at least a couple of days ago, that I want to come in and uh, you know I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna defend just a little bit. I'm gonna come in and take an unpopular stance on something. And I get it if people if they don't like it, 
I understand. Because in uh in 2017, Martin, this is uh this right here this is one of the biggest comedies of 2017 mm-hmm. to come out. The Dark Universe. <laughs> when that logo came up, that got the the most laughs out of any oh, movie that year. Boy, did that get laughs in the theater? I didn't see people laugh at a real comedy like they laughed <laughs> right. at that. Even that, even that logo, that logo was like what? <laughs> what? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> That logo was the biggest comedy of 2017, man. The Dark Universe. Universal thought they had they they, they thought they were doing some real shit. Yeah, they did. And when that, the way it even came up, it, when, it, when it popped up on the screen, it's like, ladies and gentlemen, the Dark Universe. <laughs> and that shit went dark quickly. They pulled the plug on it real oh. soon. Yeah, man. Uh. And Universal finally just came out, and they've admitted that that yeah the okay from the, that was a bit of a stumble. It was the, from the shit. <laughs> no, so, down a flight of stairs like in, in, and out a window, <laughs> thirty stories up, <laughs> splat <laughs> from the get go, boy. They thought that we got Tom Cruise. Oh man, his ass is gonna be running from the mummy. They thought that they really had something going with this. You guys might remember twenty seventeen, <laughs> the mummy came out. In June, he's like, shit. Oh, he I had this, this nightmare yeah, this, yeah. That I was from, in a movie called The Mummy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> had this dream that Universal was doing something called The Dark Universe. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? It's real? I'm yeah, man. Right now? <laughs> yeah, you know, they had, they had this, and this is going to be the first thing that they were going to do to kick off that Dark Universe. It was going to be something where Tom Cruise is going to go after The Mummy after he saves the, 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 the day. Uh, uh, Dr. Jekyll and, and Mr. Hyde was uh-huh. going to come in and bring him into the 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 uh, the shield of monsters, the right. organization, and say, hey, look, man, the mummy, that ain't the only super creature <laughs> around here. <laughs> and they had to fight, like, they would have to fight uh, other creatures out there. They were going to be joined by the wolf man. Who would they fight? Creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't know, man. They, don't, they didn't even know. <laughs> they did not know because they didn't have none of this shit in place. Uh-huh. I'll tell you that right now. Hell, when that's... When, when 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 the monster cereals have a better universe than you do, <laughs> when when breakfast has a better universe than you do, you know you fucked up. Who do you know? Frankenberry's got strawberry flavored marshmallows. Count Chocula's got chocolate marshmallows. But I've got blueberry flavored marshmallows. Don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> they treated blueberries so wrong, man. But hey, they had that universe down. The commercials were a better universe. I know. Than what they did. Uh, what's that hat that Booberry wore? I mean, that's some hipster shit he got on. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know what that is. Let me see what that is. That's why they hate his ass because he's a hipster. They, 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 they Booberry got no love from anybody, man. He just came. If you know, he just came in and said, "Hey guys, I, I, I want to eat cereal with you too. Get the fuck out of here, Booberry." Hello, my name is Boo. <laughs> Let me finish. Booberry is part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> oh, get his ass! Oh, 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 oh you, you weren't lying. <laughs> you see, they put his ass in chains. Yeah, yeah, like, they sure did. <laughs> kill his ass again. <laughs> damn god damn pot the, 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 the ghost of a dead pothead hipster <laughs> did you see that when they they jumped they his ju- ass they, man yeah, they bum rushed him they sure did they that was that wasn't even cool they they about to lynch his ass you see that get his ass bring it come here <laughs> wow he's like i might not like you but we both hate him <laughs> Even Boo Bear's down, he's like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I just wanted to bring you my cereal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Look, I get it. Uh, what they tried to do, it was it, it, it was embarrassing. There's no other way around it. Yeah. Uh, it's one thing for, for DC to try to come out and create a universe like Marvel, because at least they're both superheroes. Right. These monsters are not the Avengers. They're not superheroes. No, no. They're monsters. And y'all trying to make them into a goddamn Justice League. <laughs> are, are, are the Avengers. Uh-huh. The Avengers Initiative. I get it, man. And they and they lost they lost so much money on, on, on that abomination. They, lost, they did so much pr- promotion for mm-hmm. it. They did that whole shoot where they, they had made, a photo shoot with all the actors. That wasn't even. Did you know that wasn't even real? Oh, that, that was photoshopped. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. All the actors in there because they trying to. Oh, they all signed on. Even uh-huh. Javier Bardem was like, man, that's not shit. <laughs> and wait, you got me just, playing. Just, just pose right there. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, they went on the internet, just picked up yeah, some random. Who was he pick. gonna be? Was he gonna be the Wolfman? No, no, that's because he was man. Like, wait a minute, why I gotta be Frankenstein? Oh, Frankenstein. The fuck you trying to say? I know, right? <laughs> I'm ugly. What you trying? <laughs> so it was such an embarrassment. But Universal said, "Man, you know, we got the, this property. We got to try to recoup somehow." That they brought in Jason Blum. Say of the day. You know Jason uh, Blum. Jason Blum got these monsters and he said, Y'all each got an allowance of five dollars. Yep. <laughs> Don't you spend five no more. Dollars. Yeah. And you know what? And and all y'all, no, y'all ain't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could do a lot with it. No, shut up, man. <laughs> shut up. But nah, man, and, and hey, and guess what? Y'all go your separate ways. Ain't no more play dates with y'all. Ain't no more getting together. Y'all ain't start no club, no gang, no right. initiatives. Right. Uh none of that. Um the news is that Jason Blum has been uh he's been brought in to kind of kick this whole thing off again. But this time they don't want to do they said, listen, whatever we doing, we're not doing any big uh crossover with these with, with these uh these classic monsters here. And they and, and, and they start and plus they want to start out so cheap that they starting out with the invisible man. <laughs> 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 Who you got lined up to play the Invisible Man? That's the beauty of it. Yeah, nobody. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest effect in the movie? Staying the fuck off camera. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got to worry about getting Johnny Depp. Don't even don't even call him. Put the phone down. Uh, uh, <laughs> we, shit. Why we don't get Johnny Depp? You can't even see his ass. <laughs> Anybody can mimic his ass. But they're doing it uh, based on the. Uh, from the H.G. Wells story, they're doing it based on the uh, 1933 Universal classic. Police, quickly. The Invisible Man is in my house. He's mad. He's Claude Rains. Believe me, as surely as the moon will set and the sun will rise, I shall kill you tomorrow night. <laughs> Damn. That's a trick for your ass. Jesus, like man. <laughs> he said, just as soon as the sun rises, I'm going to get your ass. <laughs> Now, dude, why, why, why would you even do that? Let's have somebody uh, up all night thinking, like, what the fuck is it? Yeah. Is the sun up yet? <laughs> I mean, just get the show over with, man. Just now, kill me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll the, do it myself. I, and, and you know what? And really, I haven't seen it in a while. I saw it a few years ago. I love that dude, man, the Invisible Man, because he's just an asshole. Ability lies there in my books. Don't you see what it means? You're <laughs> holy. <laughs> <laughs> He just laugh, <laughs> laughing, and you can't do it. Ah! <laughs> Monkey to run, squealing. In <laughs> oh, come on. That was just childish. <laughs> he faked up like a crystal ball and just knocked the dude on the head for no reason. He's a dick, man. I know. The dude's just, just at his desk doing his work. <laughs> like, like, like Dracula, look, he got a knee, man. He got to have blood. He going right, to die if right, he don't get right. it. Wolfman ain't got no control. Yeah. Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monsters while you bitches out there. They, 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 the, the, the doctors call them the Frankenstein, not I mean, the creatures. He was, he was an abomination to begin with. He's just trying to find his purpose in the world. He was just trying to find and his he, purpose he in the world. He creator for creating. He, he didn't ask for any of right. that. But the Invisible Man, he knew good and goddamn well he was doing it. He just took advantage of it. To touch my invisible finger. Damn. Even the moon's frightened of me. <laughs> Well, he is monologuing like a motherfucker. I thought he was talking to somebody specifically. Man, he's got his arms folded, looking up in the air, yeah. I mean, going all about what he's going to do. Man, don't y'all, don't y'all ever say nothing about my ego. This fool talking about even the moon was scared of my ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody needs to put a beat to it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to drop his mixtape. Shit, even the moon fears my ass. Oh, yeah, look at he got his b-boy pose. Yeah, yeah. He, he was saying his diss track on somebody. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, man, it's a good movie, man. It's uh, I don't think I've ever seen it. It's you know, it's outdated, man. Like when they oh, like, of course, but yeah. I, I, I'm able to watch stuff that's old and and put it into context. Yeah, 1933, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Before World War II. Yeah, well, you know, uh, just prompted by you, I was watching uh, a Laurel and Hardy short uh, a couple nights ago, and it was that one with with uh, Hardy in the uh, in the hospital. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They say one day we were acting out a lot, and and it's, it's mm-hmm. Stan and Ollie. I was laughing so hard. I was I was like I I couldn't control myself. I was like, this shit is still funny. I was watching that with my wife in bed one day, and she just looking at me like, "What's wrong with you?" I said, "You don't get it. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you, Turkish people?" <laughs> <laughs> Didn't y'all just get these movies over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She yeah, she just don't. You know, it takes a watch. They just got them, but. <laughs> 
from the 1930s. I know, <laughs> but I know. So, yeah, no, I, I could watch something like this and still enjoy it. And they're going to remake it, man. They're bringing in uh, Lee Wanell, who, uh, you know, Ooh. from uh, from Saw and Insidious, oh, to come okay. in and do it. You know, he's because oh, nothing else. He's oh. used to working on that budget. The director. Yeah, gotcha. the director. Yeah, used to working on that budget and being effective with it, too. Yeah, uh, Saw and Insidious, huh? Well, you know, man. In si- yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Insidious. I kind of just warmed up to Saw recently because I do like some of these Saw movies. Not all, not all of them at all, but... Uh, but uh, you know, looking at what the getting him to direct uh, that uh, and using uh, and now being on low budget, and they do have the right idea, you know, for these Universal monsters, man. If it didn't work out before, y'all can't do that again because it's just uh, trying to create a universe for anybody today. Yeah. It just it just stinks of desperation. Yeah, the first thing you're gonna do if you're gonna create a universe is build a time machine so you can go back and start <laughs> then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But my whole my argument here is that where a lot of people say this whole universe thing is people need to stop uh, how and, and really yeah how embarrassing it was how much of a failure it was for Universal to even try and how the Universal monsters are not meant for that uh, I you know I have I, I argue with that I say that I I, I do not blame Universal. For trying, for trying, for trying at all, not at all, man. Um, because you know, uh, this has been mentioned before. Right? Everybody's talking about they weren't meant for that. They're not superheroes. Why are they trying to make them interact with each other? That's what they did back in the day. They created that universe, well, that universal model, or that universe model. No, no, I, I don't know if they created it, but they were one of the biggest ones. To put it out there. I agree with you. In as much as ever since these characters have been created. People will have been doing crossovers with them in different, in one form or another. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, b- besides Abbott and Costello crossing over <laughs> with these guys, or at times they would they would meet one on one or or mm-hmm. two on two. You know, you just showed the example with the with the monster serials, and we laugh about that. But there's also Mad Monster Party. Yeah. There's the, there's uh, a Hotel Transylvania. Well, yeah. No, I'm gonna mention all these things because you know that's that's the thing with this man is that. Uh, you know, it's gotten kind of muddled because uh, a lot of these things, and this has been argued with a lot of people. You know, there a lot of these creatures now um, are, and even back in the day, they were they were public domain. Yeah, and today all of them are public domain. You know, look, there's H.G. Wells' book based on the Invisible Man. You can remake that, or you can do anything with the Invisible Man. Mm-hmm. And, like, and like, like you know, like you said, you know, these things have been, like Martin was mentioning, you know, these things have been. Uh, they have been, uh, uh, they've had lasting power, I would argue, because they did bring them together. Yeah. You know, there were so many properties where they, they you know, uh, it's not because of one creature or the, or the other that they became popular. They became popular. They became known as the Universal Monsters because the Universal Monsters hung out together to the point where they were so popular that people weren't even scared anymore. They found it endearing to have all these monsters hanging out together. Fuck! The Frankenstein Monster, played by Glenn Strange. He got that Plus one because a couple name. of lushes. And that is Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Oh, but, dang. And they, they threw in everybody. And they threw in, no, they threw in everybody. Why? Because they knew that everybody wanted to see the roster of the creatures. Uh-huh. They did, you know why they didn't put them all in the title? Because the title would be too long. Right, they right. put them on there. I mean, you're right. You know, uh, that model after that had... A lasting effect to where kids, because kids love seeing these characters, and they love. And what do kids love? That's why, that's why kids love comic books, and that's why the comic book model is so popular. I mean, amongst other things, but because kids see and love, they love seeing their favorite characters interact. Oh yeah, everybody always wants to see the 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 Partridge family interact with the Brady Bunch and the and the Jackson Five. And, yeah, the Jackson Five yeah. and, the, and the Osmonds. Yeah, and you know, and that and that's why it went on to have a lot of lasting power with kids because all these monsters were not. They were not individuals anymore. They were a team. Frankenstein. The werewolf. The hunchback. The mummy. The invisible man. Also starring Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> as, her, as herself. I know. <laughs> as a <Speaking> monster. Of <laughs> monsters. <laughs> Uh, Phyllis Diller was a comedian back in the day, and that was a joke that you know she she finally realized I ain't no beauty, you know. So she was used to being called a creature all the time. Um, but that's Mad Monster Party, man. And uh, as you see, it's another thing that's you know working on. Look, those characters are public domain, but they're using the Universal Monster model. Yeah, 
because Universal set that up. Sure. For them to always be together. Shit, they, they're a gang now, you know? Mm -hmm. All for one, one for all. Um, it's not that I don't, I don't blame them for trying. I, I, I blame them for trying too hard. <laughs> yeah. Like everybody else did, man. Uh -huh. That's been the problem with this universe stuff. Everybody's trying too hard to. They, you can create a universe. Everybody's trying too hard to create Marvel's universe. Right. Uh, do, man, do you know how many? This is going to be a period where. And, and by the way, it, don't blame it on the, uni, the the model of trying to create a universe. It's been done before. We're gonna go look. In the last twenty years, we are going through a period where there's gonna be so many movies that are confusing people because they ain't gonna ever have no end. Uh, they, we, you know, I mean, definitely DC is one of the worst on that. Trying so hard to create that that Marvel, uh, the, the the Marvel model for the universe, they went out and created uh, storylines for storylines that weren't even written yet. Don't ever know what the fuck he's talking about. That is something that was that's never that was never followed through that's on. That's why that was such a huge mistake to do that. Uh, it, do you remember how everybody in the audience was like, "Man, don't do this." I, it, well, there were people who weren't saying that, and that was the people going, "What the fuck is going on right now?" <laughs> yeah, if it, what we're talking about, Batman versus Superman. Right. This is the point where uh, the Flash comes into a dream and talks to uh, talks to Bruce Wayne for what. Nobody ever knew what the fuck he was talking about. Well, plus he's the Flash with a big dark mustache, so I don't even. I didn't. That didn't even register as the Flash to me. What was it? A mustache or was that his mask? It looked like a mustache. Because I, I I thought like, even he's like shit. I had a dream the Flash had a mustache. <laughs> What's funny? I, let me see in the beginning. It, oh, he, you're right, man. He's got like one of them tough guy goatees right there. Yeah. So. I'm seeing this. I, I didn't even know that was a flash. It, it wasn't until it was over. Somebody said, like, yeah, that was a flash coming. So I was like, for real? It was supposed to like be a flash yeah. to me. No, no, it was supposed to be some future event. Right. Where, you know, where the world is all, you know, out of whack and he has to be tough flash right now, like a like, uh, apocalyptic flash. Right, right, right. And the funny thing is, we get to that Justice League movie and it still doesn't make any of this make sense. And it, <laughs> it just makes things more confusing. <laughs> like, what, what were you talking about, man? <laughs> Because none of this shit makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Method when he came to warm about, you're going to be in a really shitty movie, man. <laughs> none of us going to make a bit of fucking sense. Listen to me, Bruce. Get don't do it. Save your marriage. <laughs> you're going to go jack in the box. You're going to be drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, don't blame. Don't blame uh, 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 people trying to build a universe. They've been doing that for a long time. Uh, people seeing fads. I'll tell you, over the last 20 years, man, even more probably, people seeing fads and trying to put the cart before the horse, trying to have a franchise and sequels before uh, they had. They actually have an idea of what the, this, the whole property is going to be like or whether it's going to be successful. Golden Compass is oh, a yeah. big example of trying to ride off of Harry Potter, man. Yeah, you know, and there were and there were a ton of movies like that. Where yeah, oh yeah, what they, do we could count? Yep, they ended talking about we'll be back, <laughs> and they're like, no, no you, you won't. won't. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. Yeah, we never found out where that compass went. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the the YA, the young adult dy dystopian stuff that was happening that uh, that was happening that was kicked off with the uh, Hunger Games, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, for, for, for a while, movies were kind of copying this and being successful, man. Uh, and if nothing else, even if they weren't successful, they got to wrap their stories up. For all you Divergent fans out there who want to see a Legion Part 2, I feel sorry for you because you ain't going to ever see it. I, I don't feel sorry for you because you, you should have dropped that. Yeah, yeah. You got those books. Read. Nothing to worry about. They, you remember they talking about it was going to be like a TV, a TV show? Yeah. You didn't even get that. Yeah, because there's no way. Uh, what's her name? Who's the lead in these? I forgot her name. That's sad. <laughs> she, she was hot for for a, a, a minute doing the John Green movie, Fault in Our Stars, and she was in The Descendants. Oh, oh yeah, no, she, no, yeah, she was, man. But I think that she, she, she even said, I, "I'm look, I'm ready to move on." Oh, I know I she didn't be, want to keep doing these. Like be trapped. She, in she this. was better than this. That's why they. That's why she <laughs> said, "When y'all do that TV show, now nah, you ain't look." Yeah, that was going to be my you point. I ain't going to TV. That was going to be my point. There's no way she was going to do the TV series. No, no, they would. They were about to cast somebody else. And I think that's where it ran into a little snafu and couldn't continue on anymore. You know, looking at all these examples, man, you can see it's not just the try. Not just trying to uh, create a, a, a a universe. It's people trying to follow a trend too hard. Um, 
and and seeing what they've done. Uh, you can do a universe and people are still trying it. They say the one that's really probably about to kick it off and the one that's about to probably do it right. Uh, they say because in addition to the Universal Monsters, this dude was doing it back in the day before anybody else was oh, doing course. it. Of course. Godzilla, man. I mean, he's about looking. I like the way he's <laughs> That dude's having trouble picking up the hat. I know. I, I, I can't see it. <laughs> Whoever that costume was like, well, shit, where's the tail? Fuck. Uh, th- this is him with uh, uh, Ghidra and, uh, and Mothra and, uh, you know, and I think Rodan might even yeah. come in there with a, with a chair or something later on. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's saying, you know, yeah, this is the one I'll probably be able to get it right because uh, they look at, you know, with Godzilla, King of the Monsters, that's about to come out. And they're saying, man, look, it's nothing but they're not trying to be too fancy. They're not trying to, like, create too many uh, loose ends to be tied up in movies down the line. They're saying these are just a bunch of creatures who get together, who beat the shit out of each other, and they call it the universe because at some point, after Godzilla get the whooping ass, uh, teaming up with some other monsters, he's going to have to fight King Kong from Skull Island. And, the, and when they bring that in, and that's a, and look, and honestly, that's a fight that people, they always talk about that. It's like a like UFC matches. It is. It is, man. It's just creatures beating the shit out of each other. That's it. That's all you need, man. As they say, that, look, if you fuck this up, <laughs> you know, then, yeah, maybe we really should consider this whole thing with universes. But they're saying this might be the one to get it right because they're keeping it kind of simple. It's simple. They, they, and, and plus, they're doing what's true. To these creatures, which is beating the shit out of each other, you know, and that's it. So, uh, you know, I, 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 yeah, Universal messed up badly, and they should, they should definitely stick to like at this moment to uh, single films. Well, we just we don't want somebody announcing they're kicking off a universe when they haven't even done the first movie. When they have nothing, yeah, and it, it's just it, it just sounds so arrogant. Yeah, my thing is. Do what you're doing right now. Do these small films, small budgets. And they say they're concentrating more on horror now. Do that. And if there, if there is an organic, natural way yeah. to bring them together down the line, if you, if you genuinely see an opportunity, sure. then do it. Otherwise, leave that shit alone. Because you don't need to do it if it's not inspired. Yeah. But I don't blame them for trying. Otherwise, I, we get Twilight. We get <laughs> But I look forward to seeing if they can do it. I look forward to seeing like a modern uh, day uh, Universal Monsters where they all come together. But do it like they did back in the day. Back in the day, that's how they did it. They just made movies. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they just said, okay, we see a reason to bring them together. Repeat that. Do that again. It does seem like if somebody's going to be able to do it, it's Jason Blum. Yeah, he will. I mean, well, he can't lose. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Jason Blum yeah. never loses. Yeah. You know, when you get these, like I said, you get these monsters allowance of five dollars. <laughs> and say that's it. <laughs> if, you, if you want another five, you better make it good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, we'll see. don't lose my five dollars. Yeah, Shit, those monsters are scared of him right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're looking at them right now. What you want? Don't come over here. <laughs> don't ask me for nothing else. <laughs> I'll buy you a soda. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I really, really hope you press the subscribe button if you did. And if you really, really, really love what we do, then check out our main site, DoubleToasted.com. Over there, you'll not only find a longer-form version of this video right here, but also the streams that we do almost every night of the week. Support us on DTMerch.com, and remember to always stay toasty.